Hey guys, Francis here, welcome back to another episode of Knights of Dragon. So, I'm going to keep it as short as possible today, actually. I, I told the guy that I need like 20 minutes, but this is Kleenex from Awakening Phoenix, if I remember correctly. If I read his biography right, and he's the co guildmaster off of it, and he wants me to uh, power level his new Shadow Forge. So, he already did the set partially, and he wanted me to max the rest. He doesn't really have a lot of uh, silver coins, so I was going to power level it instead of max it, because some of you guys actually do get a little bit um, mad when I apparently put max, but uh, when I say max, I mean like level 1 to 99 <laughs> in terms of Shadow Forge. So, yeah, anyway. See, like I said, he's from Awakening Phoenix and blah, uh, blah, blah. They get a little shout out too, of course. Uh, he's in Spawn of Darkness as of now. He just uh, got his top 15 armor. He went top 15 and he got rank 14, of course. I believe this was the um, uh, run of the sexes. They had like um, a boys versus girls war. And I believe that the boys came in rank 14 and the uh, girls came in rank 16. So, yeah, there you go. That's the Forsaken Warrior for you. And yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, here are all the people. If you see yourself, please um, make sure you... Hey, Dix is in here. But um, as I stated, please make sure you uh, like this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to do some shameless advertisements. But don't really know what the minimum was. Because they are all over the place, so to see. And yeah, apparently Albert didn't do anything at all. Okay. So there were no minimums, it was just a free-to-play that went ham. Or maybe it wasn't, I don't really know if there were any minimums, perhaps 20k. <laughs> I don't even fucking know, but I don't believe that runs of the sexes actually do have some, like, fucking minimums. Uh, this dude is actually all over the place in terms of fucking um, armors, actually. Or I, or I mean, like, is his, this thing. I mean, like, just take a look at it. I always have my stuff at the at the entire top you know just and then uh, all the gold things down here but this dude has them in the middle so it's, it's kind of fucked up because i usually just click here to make make sure i can enhance some shit so he wants me to um max this armor named um um fuck <laughs> is it Ill literally i thought it was a water actually is it seriously an air armor Did, I'm, I'm like are you kidding me is this an air did I, did I saw my stuff wrong? Really? Did, did, oh, it's air, air. Wow. Okay. So let's take a look uh, first before we actually do anything else. Gree always wins one, of course, and they lost five times. Rather unfortunate, but I can't do anything about it either. First order, DSB, Germany won. Wanted to push for uh, top three as well, but they got a very expensive top ten in the end. Because DSB pushed them out. Vikings Brazil, or they didn't actually push them out, they actually outpaced them, I guess. Vikings Brazil, Evil Blood, Q Mob, We Stand United, Death Dealers, The Dedicated, Snow Wolves, Muffins, Earth Swords, Spawns of Darkness, Italian Boys, The Forsaken Warrior, Dragon's Bang, Gunblade, one of the girls I matched uh, with my home guild, Darklands, The Four Horsemen, Red Dead Redemption. First time I'm actually seeing this specific guild, Oblivion Inc., Legion of Chaos, Demonic Master, Supernatural, and Dirty Ghetto Kids. It's the rather unfortunate one here. And like I said, rather unfortunate that, that they didn't get it. Can't do anything about that either. So let's take a look at the main uh, set of this armor. So yeah, as I stated, he already did some things to this armor. Uh, 6900 and 5900, to say the least. We're going to take a look at the end of it uh, and how this uh, actually turns out to be. He has a ton of armors apparently, 252. And that's a fuck ton of fusion boost. Holy crap. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen so many fusion boosts. He, perhaps he has been saving up for this uh, for a long time for this uh, run. Or um, not for this specific run, but for a run actually. Because I've, uh, I completely forgot that uh, some people actually sometimes run for the first time. <laughs> and then it's like, hey, what are you doing here? You know, and then they say like, um, yeah, I'm new. <laughs> and this is actually my first time I'm running. And that sometimes comes over to me as, like, not, not as you're some kind of noob or something, but it's more like, really, is it your first time running? You know, it, it's more like um, a positive uh, positive uh, something, because I, I honestly love to see new people in my own top runs every damn time. 
because it, it just looks so fucking awesome. <laughs> and if you want, if, if you really want to know why it looks so fucking awesome, well, it's just like you can give the newer people or the yeah the newer people to the game as well as the runs. You can give them some things as well in terms of like doing stuff, uh, getting shadow forged, gain, gaining sets. What I always tell my new people that can, that come in eternality to do, uh, like I, I tell them, please just make sure you save up your gems from now on. Usually I never tell anybody that outside of um, eternality, but it's something that I do on a daily basis, telling my people that they need to save uh, gems if they want to go on a top run. And if if they can't, you know, then they'll start opening chests, and it, it'll all just be for nothing because like chests. I'm not saying they're bad, but it's like. It's not guaranteed, you know, if you want something guaranteed, you, you really need to go to something named a top run. And here's the level 51 of the Sunward Barricade. I uh, don't even know why it's called like that, but I'm not questioning these armor names anymore. I don't even know my own fucking newest armor. Um, I, I, I got like two new additions, you guys might have seen that, um, that I maxed them. <laughs> it was like... Um, I don't even know their names, honestly. It's, it's like, let's just come straight to the point right here. I don't know their names. Don't know any of their names, if I am frankly honest with you. Why is that? Well, maybe I've stated this before, and I pretty much did in other videos. I really don't give a shit about Arno Armor names anymore. I'm starting to learn the new Shadowforge, of course. Uh, meaning like the... or the new Shadowforge, the older Shadowforge. <laughs> so they're kind of new to me. And what do I mean by that? Like, I mean like Acne's Offering. I already knew that, by the way, but there's also other things. That came out uh, after that, um, Acne's Eternal, of course, and those are like the, the type of things I'm still learning. I'm also still learning new um, Dragonforged, in terms of like just learning the new Dragonforged, <laughs> because I don't even know if there's new ones coming out, honestly. I mean, I've seen people getting some other armors, I guess, but that's about all I can see. So, Ascension. Um, I want to keep two of those silver coins so I can max or at least try to uh, do something about the set as well. So yeah, the stats go up with, let's take a look, about uh, 100 each. Yeah, about 100 is enough. And now we can max, can we max it? Um, Eternal Flight is the one that we are searching for. No, we can't, unfortunately. I thought, it would, I thought you would actually um, have something for me to make sure to max it. At least that's what he told me, but I can't do anything about that, so 100 amulet and no fusion boost, so I'm not going into that shit for too deep. So yeah, we can um, upgrade it again, and then he'll have everything spent. So, yeah, as you can see, 5k, 5k, let's take a look at the stats right now. Uh, is he a commander here, or like a high commander, because I don't know he's a commander, okay. Kleenex, uh, big shout out to you for actually letting me do this, and I just saw the stats on the fucking... Um, I guess the other night, and it looked fucking like 8k, 7k? Holy shit, you should just take a look at this. This is without any pets, by the way. These fucking armors, they are so damn good as of lately, you know? They just get you double 8k. And honestly, it's not as good as 10k or 12k or your shitty shadow, seasonal Shadowforge, but it's something, you know? And this, this is just fucking amazing to see that these stats are actually here, and... The Shadowforge itself looks amazing as well, especially the top of his head with the... Um, I don't even know what it is, it's some kind of hair thing. Don't know what it's called in English, don't even know what it's called in Dutch, don't know what it's called in German. I speak all of those three languages quite fluently. Uh, sometimes I do um, fuck up a little though in English, German or Dutch, it doesn't really matter in what language. <laughs> but don't know, maybe it's a helmet or something, I don't know. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Kleenex, big shout out to you. Awakening Phoenix, uh, smaller shout out to you, but still a shout out. And I hope to see you all again next time.